this is uh, an exciting time for everyone, the leadership council, all the members, everyone who's a founder is blessed. And uh, I wanna talk about the products today as our topic. We'll start with Oblest because we are blessed. And the first product that was rolled out to the entire founder group, of course, was Oblest a couple of weeks back. And we learned that the heart of the company, the heart of Ash Mifarth is really wrapped up in the portfolio called Obless. It's a fun, a GoFundMe type of a product, something that we'll wrap our hands around and uh, be able to share with the world some of the overflow, some of the blessings that we've been given in uh, on passive as things progress. That's the feeling we have. All 630,000 members are, are really looking forward to the exciting time where they can bless others. And so the vehicle that we'll use will be called O Bless. This connects people worldwide to support needs by raising funds very easily, very quickly. It's done within the group. And people from outside can also participate. They can request to be part of the funding mechanism or to join with us in this process. So OBLESS is, is going to change the way giving is done around the world for nonprofits, for uh, churches, for charities, for missionaries around the world. People with the need for a project in their local area, they can get local support or they may get international support from all around the world. We have members in 213 countries in on passive. That means that we'll have international support for local causes, and we'll also be able to raise funds locally for international causes. So it goes both ways. When we support each other through OBLESS, we'll have multi-currency features that helps in collecting funds from different countries. So no matter how you pay your bills, you can transfer them through the, um, the system that OBLESS uses which will be the old wallet, and you'll be able to fund causes all around the world. Our mission is to create impactful philanthropy across the total global audience. And we search through the different options that are available in Oak Bless, so we can find a type of a project that fits our personality, that we have a, a feeling in our heart to support. And we'll be able to go across and, and search these out and We'll be able to fund water projects in Africa, food serving the needs of the food for the poor. We'll be able to do earthquake uh, reconstruction projects. We'll be able to do disease prevention projects. Everything that you want to support, you'll be able to find it in Obless. So many, many features are there already in the process. And uh, we'll talk about those today among our group. We'll highlight some of those issues and causes that people believe in. And um, we'll talk about the issues that are out there that OBLESS is meant to serve. So guys, take it away. Let's let's hear what you have to say about OBLESS and we'll kick it around a while. Marina? Yeah, I just wanted to, do, that's great, um, Dr. Ball. I'm so excited about OBLESS. And another nice thing that I just found phenomenal is that on passive won't be taking a fee. You know, whatever the person donates to the charity foundation cause, they're going to get 100% of that money, which is just incredible. And it just shows you the heart that our CEO, Ash Mafara, has, is that he's not taking anything. He just wants to give this, put this out there to help humanity and help raise, um, you know, people all over the world, which I thought was just phenomenal. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you, Marina. Uh, Charles Osong? Yes, great. Great job, Dr. Bill. Great job, Marina. I just wanted to add on to what Marina just said, that the value, because I want the, the founders especially to see what that means to us as founders, right? So now imagine like GoFounders and all these different crowdfunding platforms charging a fee anywhere from let's say 10 to 30%. And then on passive comes on, no fee. Just imagine what's going to happen to those millions of customers raising funds out there, 
right? They're all gonna drift towards on passive. And when they drift towards on passive, they're gonna love it. And we're gonna give them seven day free trial on all our other products, okay? That is huge. That just means more customers for us and more retention of customers for us just because of the fact that we're not charging. That's one thing. Now let's look at something else. When people raise money out there like those other platforms, they depend entirely on the public, right? And they have to go out looking for these customers. Now, OnPassive has AI, artificial intelligence, that's gonna do targeted traffic for us. So if you're raising funds for let's say, hospitals, you want to build hospitals, right? AI is going to look for those people that are passionate about hospitals. And they're going to drift them towards us, towards you. And that is more funds for you, for your fundraising. Okay. Now look at the internal part of it. Just we, the founders, already will have over 630,000, 638,000, right? Just imagine, in addition to the public, we have the founders who are gonna be contributing to these courses. So Obles, in my opinion, has advantages comparable to none out there, both for the public and for the founders. Wow. I agree with you, Charles, and those are some great points, and Marina and, and Bill, it's like, wow. When you really think about it and, and imagine Imagine someone having their house burned down and they need clothes and stuff like this. And, and now you rely on GoFundMe, like you said, Charles, it's, it's only about who they're involved with. But now you've got this whole big community that can pitch in a little bit, a little bit from all of us can make a difference. But the thing about it is it introduces them to own passive. And there's not a better thing out there. You know, you, you got the products out there. But uh, Jeffrey, why don't you uh, chime in with what you think there? Jeffrey? I want to do, um, if you don't mind, Marla, I just wanted to add something with o, to O Bless is um, that, oh, no, sorry, I've lost my train of thought now. You're going to have to stop the recording. <laughs> oh, gosh. We'll come back, uh, Jeffrey. Oh, no, anyway, it's fine. Carry on. Jeffrey? Yeah, yeah, I know I'm right here. I, I've had moments like that, <laughs> Marina, <laughs> myself. Uh, I appreciate you guys leaving a little meat in the bone for me here too. I mean, you guys did such a great job of explaining all that. Uh, I do want to, there was something that Dr. Bill mentioned that I really want to kind of highlight a little bit. And that is, is that he had indicated that it's a platform for nonprofits, right, for nonprofits. And we need to keep that in mind. This isn't something where you're going to want a profit or a business for profit or something, trying to get in and trying to do anything uh, like Scooby-Doo would say or whatever, you know, hanky. So just keep in mind it is that uh, for, for nonprofits. Um, you know, it's got the, the program has things built into it that make it a, a lot easier to work with. And it gives you... Um, um, some parameters that you can use to control and um, plan how the whole thing will go. And what I'm talking about is it's got features that uh, will allow it to work easier for you. Uh, it allows searches and things um, that you can do on, uh, you know, whatever time frame you, you plan on use, you know, how big your, uh, your funding program is going to be, you know, what country it's going to be in. You know, you can actually pick the industry if you want to. Uh, you can give it a profile, that sort of thing. Um, and there's a lot of other criteria that you can build into whatever whatever it is, whatever opportunity is that you're trying to make people aware of. So that's actually kind of cool. And it's got some real neat things, as, as you may have mentioned. Um, uh, Ash likes to do things fancy, you know, and clean and fresh. And that's kind of like a a hallmark of, of his design is that things are just a lot simpler to use. So some of the features of the old bless that I'm really, really sure I'm gonna enjoy are just the simplicity of the dashboards and the reports that you can have. Uh, you can actually do profile pages for your causes. You can do profile pages for the backers of your causes if you want. You can upload videos and uh, um, marketing materials. Uh, 
create campaign pages, things like, like that. So it is a well-rounded, a very well-rounded program for crowdfunding, uh, which is a buzzword that if you understand crowdfunding, then you can certainly understand what OBLAS is. But even more to that point, just like everybody else who said earlier, when you think of the term OBLAS, that should tell you everything right there. It should tell you the, the non-passive and the founder mindset that's going to be using this, the customer mindset, because this is a, a system that you can bless others with and bless them not only with, but you can introduce them to it and make them available as a member. Now they can also have access to do that. So we literally are spreading the wealth through the, like Mr. Bill said, 212 some countries. So it's a great program. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Jeffrey. Marina and then Dr. Bill. Sorry, it came to me now and it's, it's amazing how someone just triggers your, your memory. Um, there were three points and the one was the eyes that we are going to get onto the charity foundation, whatever you know, you've know you requested with through Oh Bless. Just with the founders alone, I mean, you already you're going to get a lot more eyes on there. Um, also, you can, you know, I'm up, if I've just moved to an area, for example, and I don't really know the area, or if I'm just not, not familiar with what actually is happening in my area, with Oh Bless, you'll be able to say charities near me or, you know, if it's in need near me, and you'll be able to get involved and you could probably even visit the sites as well to see where your money's going to. So that's really cool. And then um, I do believe we're going to have hands-on during our soft launch. We're going to be testing it. And I know there are so many founders that have got a heart of gold that are helping already. Um, but there's so much more, so many more people in need. Um, and once we have a bless out there, the founders are definitely going to be able to really get more involved with um, different charities and that. So, you know, to be a founder with on passive. You, you're already benefiting from it before we go to launch. So it's just, it's phenomenal. It's really a godsend for sure. Thank you. That's what I wanted to say earlier. Thank you, Marina. That's awesome. The other Dr. Bill? thing that I was going to bring up is, um, yeah, the other thing I was going to bring up about uh, uh, Obless is, uh, is, is actually when we had our demo, we saw that there was a, a function that's going to be able to support new startups like you know you have these um people who have a great idea and they they don't know how to get it off the ground well we'll be able to come together and, and help those people put together a uh, a funding mechanism to get new projects off the ground if they have some innovative idea they want to try people get behind it they get in front of it they get beside it and they they help carry it through those really critical early days of a company's founding. And so there's going to be more than just um, charitable works for good purposes. It's going to be for innovation. And, and, I, and I tend to think about all those tech engineers in India. I, I tend to think about all those guys who are really uniquely talented, who want to start something new and fresh. Well, this will give them a chance to come together, find a like-minded group of people that will actually come and support them to get a startup going. And uh, I think Ash has a real heart for that, for innovation. And one of the things that's going to happen too is that we're going to be, with all the projects, no matter what kind of project it is, there'll be marketing for that product, that project in on Passives Obless. It will market to find people to support the causes. And you'll be able to check up on the progress of the, of the uh, fundraising, You'll be able to see where the people are coming from that are that are blessing the project. It's going to be a marvelous tool for us to use to move forward with the uh, the main goal of on passive, which is to bless people throughout the world. Absolutely, thank you so much. Who spoke about next? Let's move on to another product. O Tracker. O Tracker is something that I think it's a very powerful tool, and I like to have. Uh, Charles, so, so Charles, if you could please uh, talk to us about what is Old Tracker, how does it help people? Great. So, Old Tracker, as the name suggests, is a, a tool that tracks what we call IP addresses on the internet. 
and, and that has been big business for a lot of companies, for companies who know WhatsApp. Every major company today should be using some kind of IP tracking, right? Those who aren't, they are losing out, okay? And when we say IP, what do we mean by IP? So IP just simply stands for internet protocol. And it's like the unique identification of every device that's online, your phone, your laptop, and they're all different. Each one has its own IP, right? And that IP address is based on a network. So people, different homes have Wi-Fi, they have some, some little device from the internet service provider that's like we call router, small device that gives you a network and an IP, a bunch of IP addresses. And so each device connecting to that network has an address. And this is what the tracking does. It tracks you based on that address, right? So companies for marketing purposes use this to their advantage. So for example, you go to Mercedes-Benz to shop for maybe a Mercedes-Benz car, right? And you're sitting there and you log into that Wi-Fi, to that network, your device, your iPhone or Android phone, anything that you have, iPad, picks up an IP address from that network and they track it and they keep it. And so you're busy shopping. So you're somebody who, a lady who likes designer handbags and you're going to Neymar Marcos shopping for all these different designer bags while waiting for your car, right? And so it tracks you, oh wow, she likes this kind of stuff, okay? And, and you look at it and it's costing a thousand dollars, for example. And then one week later, you can be somewhere, maybe in a hospital or somewhere, minding your own business. And all of a sudden, you see something pops up. Wait a minute, is this designer handbag close to what you are looking at? That is only $500, half the price, right? Now, that's the, that's the work of IP tracking, okay? So, so OnPassive has a tracker, and we call it O tracker because, of course, all our products have O in front of them because of over delivery, right? OnPassive. And so we have something unique in each of our products. And what is unique about O-Tracker? We have something called heat map that no other IP tracking device out there or tool out there has it, okay? And that heat map is just simply, it gives you where concentration of things that people are looking for. What area has a concentration of the kind of things of this kind of stuff that people look for, that kind of stuff that people look for. So as a marketing tool, you know exactly where to go to market for something. That is huge, okay? So that's what I wanted to say about IP tracker, old tracker. Our old tracker is the best out there. And as far as business is concerned, we as founders, we need to know that this is gonna separate us from all the other companies that have IP tracking devices or IP tracking tools, I wanna say. Wow. That's awesome. I, didn't, I guess I didn't even realize about the, the heat map. That's really, uh, that's really cool. And I can see a huge advantage for that. And, and uh, Charles, I know you're into IT. Is it true that uh, most companies don't have their own IP tracker? Uh, that's done by a third party. We're one of the only ones that has our own IP tracker. Is that is, you are perfectly, you are right on, on, on the money, right? So most companies don't have it. They have to pay a third party. And so we have our own and it's the best and we're gonna be highly sought after <laughs> by those companies. <laughs> right, and so really it makes sense that everyone want, will want to come on to own passive because if we have the heat map and we have an IP tracker that's our own, we can keep our own data within our own network, correct? Oh yes, definitely. It's a huge advantage. We are in a good shape. Good. To ask you, Charles. Sorry, I remember um, I might get my facts wrong, but Ash Bavara said a while ago that um, IP tracker will be the first time that it's done in bulk. Am I correct in saying that, or have I got the wrong terminology? Maybe. Well, yes. I think I, I was in at that webinar when when Ash had said that we're going to have what are called bulk IP tracking, which also hasn't been the case. I know in the last demo, he did not mention it, but I believe that's that's part of what we have. That gives us an advantage. So I remember him I, saying that it's the first time that it's going to be done in bulk. And that sort of, is, okay, that sort of led a learn so signal to go. Bulk, bulk IP tracking. That is huge, yeah. 
Learning a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so most of these companies out there, like Google, like I see some people come to my webinars and they say, hey, so is Google one of our competition? I'm like, okay, actually Google is gonna be one of our customers. <laughs> so we are not competing with them because they don't have what we have, right? They're gonna realize that we have something way better than what they use, right? And they're gonna, they're gonna come to us. That's, that's the key, like the bulk IP tracking you just mentioned. They're gonna come to us. That's beautiful. Charles, one of the things that I saw in my business was that I was marketing my services and companies were charging me to set up marketing plans. And um, I could have used geofencing, which is one of the product features with O-Tracker. It limits to where I market. And it, it sometimes will be to your disadvantage if somebody doesn't use geofencing, you'll be marketing your local service where you're, a, you know, you're just a single location practice, like a dental practice like mine. And you can't serve somebody in uh, London or Moscow or, you know, down in Melbourne, Australia. You really have to stay local if you're going to be a dentist. For the most part, people don't travel across the ocean for their dental work. So geofencing will limit your marketing and keep you from wasting ad dollars. That's a very big product that we have advantage with all this geo, geofencing, geolocation. It's, it's just marvelous to be able to hone in your marketing and not waste dollars, I think. You're, you're absolutely right, uh, Dr. That is also- Tell us more about the fraud prevention that's built into O-Tracker. That's- very important part of why we would use this. Well, the, the truth about it is, whatever we do, we want to prevent for this hackers. There are people, you know, vultures out there, right? That are always looking to take advantage. So it has what are called tracking devices within, okay? That's gonna kind of see the, the bad guys or who are, who are out there trying to be unscrupulous. So the old tracker is in the main function of our old tracker is really to track IP addresses for marketing purposes. However, the, the fourth prevent, prevention that we're talking about is just to be able to get vulnerabilities based on the network, based on where you are. So it has other added advantages that again, the geofencing like you talked about we are not the only one that has geofencing. We just have it in an advanced using AI, okay? So for me, the most, the biggest advantage that we have, in my opinion, is the heat map, right? Just, and the IP, the bulk IP tracking, that's also a big, big advantage. Every, everything else, okay? Identity prevention, all those things, we've seen it before in some of the other tools that are out there. But the bulk IP tracking, the heat map, that's gonna put us in a different category altogether. Geofencing, great, but I think there are other tools out there that have it, okay? So, but I think we have plenty to be happy about, okay? So. Absolutely. Unless, unless Jeffrey has something to add to that. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Jeffrey, do you have anything to add? I'm enjoying just listening to you guys. You guys are all a wealth of information, and I, I, I just, I kind of just suck it right up. But I mean, um, yeah, there's, there's other things. Uh, if you're not fully understanding what geofencing is, it's just, it's a virtual, uh, a virtual fence, if you will, uh, around a specific area, and that, that's how it works. It's, it, it's. It's like uh, Mr. Osong says, there, there's a lot of folks with geofencing out there. Uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of what we have, some folks have. What makes us specifically wonderful, though, is the fact that those things that they don't have, we do have. Um, O-Tracker is it's, it's a, it's a location module. It's a location awareness module. It, it helps us 
to uh, to know exactly, you know, what language we're using, uh, where the physical locations are, you know, what country we're in, the currencies, things like that. Um, it, it'll actually map physical addresses and uh, stuff like that. But interestingly enough, it, it'll do a lot more than that because you can use it for your business uh, to track uh, like payments, uh, payment patterns, for instance. Maybe maybe you're using it for your business and you've got a, a restaurant or you've got somewhere you know where people give tips and for some reason somebody gives somebody an extraordinary tip. Well, it gets flagged and it gets brought to your attention and starts tracking. And it's things like that you can have to do. So, I mean, it's more than just tracking online physical presences for people using the internet and stuff like that, because it'll red flag anything like that, anything suspicious. Um, you know, if it's a business deal or anything like that, it, it'll flag it. Uh, it'll also help, like you were saying earlier, I think with uh, identity threat prevention, and that's what you were talking about when you're saying fraud. You're, it's going to be keeping you safe, working to keep you safe. Uh, it'll analyze the browsing patterns. And that's what you were getting at is these people that are up to no good. And they, they'll establish a certain pattern. And if it comes um, to be deemed as, as not good by the, by, the, by the bot or by the technology, and not only would it flag it, but it'll also block them and it will not allow them access. Um, so there's a lot of assessment and detection going on there. Um, it, it allows the businesses, if you're using a tracker for a business, then, and I think Mr. Osong, you had said something about this, about the, somebody that was doing the shopping and, and through this particular uh, module, it can, it can, uh, it can get the branding message for the company out much better to a target audience, so it can help with those sales. And that's exactly what you were talking about. You know, when, when you're walking down the street, next thing you know, you pop up and you see something you're looking at a week ago. Of course, it's also got uh, a dashboard, which is wonderful and again, simple and easy. You know, it's got the uh, instant messaging gateways. It's got real-time tracking, uh, alarms. You can run history reports, things like that. Uh, it'll flag points of interest. That if it thinks, oh, here's something you've been looking at, you might be interested in this, then it'll 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 flag points of interest, stuff like that. So, it's a great program. And what what makes it so great is that it's tied into everything else that we do, and it's seamlessly integrated. And life is going to be real good for those folks who want to use it. Great. You covered some good points, uh, Jeffrey, because it, it, it brought to mind uh, prevention and detection. Okay. Uh, so it has all of that. So you, you know, track some fraudulent activity, something that don't look right. And it's also going to help prevent it. So not only detect, yeah. but prevent it as well. So that, that's, that's huge. I think we're sitting in a good place. Yeah. I think uh, O-Tracker is just a, it's a wonderful thing. It works behind the scene and you don't have to really know what it does. It just does it for you. But I think that it's going to take some of those people and make them much more competitive. If, if I'm thinking right, you know, you take a real estate person. Now that guy can geo-target, you know, and he knows when people are coming into town and, you know, and you got a heat map that's bringing them in and, you got all this stuff working for you. I don't see how anyone almost can be competitive without it, to tell you the truth. In, in certain industries, you, you take the real estate market, you take the people selling cars and stuff. If they get into this, do you agree with that, Charles? Oh, yeah. That's why it's a big market. Uh, I, I'd say few businesses aren't using it. And that's only because they're not aware of the power of it. Right? Once they do... It, it's going to be every business will have to go use it. Even a small business. I have small business owners that are currently using some IP tracking tool. Mm -hmm. So those are my targets. Once old tracker is out, I'm going to tell them, hey, look, check this out. <laughs> right. Way back. Wow. Yeah, you know, if I can add something in there, Milo, something kind of interesting that, that I just, you know, you think about the AI and the technology and stuff and 
when you <laughs> if you like me, you kind of you kind of look at the 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 hey Google a little you know a little cross eyed because I'm not entirely sure it's not listening to me the whole time. But like right now, she's talking to me because I said something about it. I don't know what she's saying, but the old tracker uh, you may recall, and I think it's Academy that has a feature that will track your what you're looking at. It will track your interest and it'll track to see whether you're paying attention. Well, O-Tracker, believe it or not, has the ability, or I believe it's got the ability, um, I'll have to probably double check, but I think that the same ability with O-Tracker is it, 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 it can check your eyes to see where you're looking at the screen most and it will determine which what's there at that screen, and then later, like Mr. Hassan said, it's probably going to hit you with some sort of an advertisement based on what it thought you were looking at the most. So they're getting pretty clever with this stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. I love all the answers oh, yeah. about O Tracker. Charles, do you have some last more last thoughts of O Tracker? Well, well, actually, not necessarily O Tracker, but but all our products once they're integrated and they work together with the traffic and everything else, it's just out of this world. I'm telling you, yeah. Absolutely. That's all. That's actually very beautiful that all of the products of OnPassive can either be standalone or it can be also working all together as well. Let's move on to O-Trim. Oh, and yeah. Before we move, I was going to say, okay, we're moving to O-Trim, right? Yeah. And I was going to say, let, let, let Jeffrey go first, and then I'll, I'll just say what I wanted to say. Let's go, go ahead, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. I just wanted to, to share how Old Tracker tracks the IP, but Old Trim also, in a way, tracks IP for us. So that's what I'm saying. When we integrate all these products, it's like one, one beast. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Charles. Um, Jeffrey, would you like to go into Old Trim? What is Old Trim and how does it benefit for other people? Your mic is there. We go. It, I, I don't know if it's maybe I just don't hit it hard. <laughs> oh, trim. Oh, man. Um, yeah. Oh, trim is kind of cool. It's uh, a UL or URL shortener for a, a particular website. If, if you've got a website with a long name, obviously, uh, so that you can send it or share it or broadcast it or publicize it or whatever, you know, us uh, media. I mean, how many times have we got this thing that's, geez, it looks like an encryption of, you know, 256 characters long, and you don't want to try to try to do anything with that. Is you, if you can't cut and paste it, you, you're never going to get there. So you get a smaller URL, makes it a whole lot easier to not only get into the, the um, place where you want to, but it makes it a lot easier to remember because you can make it up. You know, it takes a lengthy link, breaks it down into something a lot, a lot less. Um, it's also created by the uh, user, um, the, the member, whoever's part of on passive, obviously, has got access to this and is registered and can use that. Uh, it gives you a, the uh, location as well. Uh, you can do all sorts of neat things with it by give it an alias. You can actually look up, I think, and Charles, maybe you can correct me if I'm wrong, but if that particular websites uh, had other aliases or other names to them, um, then you could actually find out what they were. You can retrieve original URLs. Uh, you can do things like that that um, would, would post uh, the new names uh, to a shortened URL, and you can add new names to past links. And there's just a lot of things I'm not terribly familiar with. But there's a lot of neat little things that you can do with it that I haven't seen or tried to use with anybody else's URL trimmers. Thank you, Jeffrey. Anyone would like to add more to O Trim, Charles? Yeah, well, I mean, O Trim, what I want to tell the founders is it's not a lot of us are just gonna use it basically to shorten the URL. So what is the URL, right? A lot of and I, sometimes I try to go basic because I know when I deal with the people that I deal with. When you say URL, it's like, what is URL, okay? <laughs> so it's just a fancy name, right? Universal Resource Locator. What all it's doing is telling you the address that's on the top of your browser 
and, and everyone is unique. Every time you click on something, it's unique. And then it gets longer and longer and longer. So just like our links, our private links in our back office, right? They are all so long that they're not intuitive because they're scrambled too. I mean, right? But it's for our own advantage, it's for security. However, you can make it intuitive by using the trim, the old trim, right? So, and that's for most of us founders, that's pretty much how far we're gonna go. There are people out there who use it more sophisticatedly like Jeff was trying to say. You can also use it to track IP addresses, how many people are visiting your website and you know, get back and all kinds of fancy stuff you can use with old trim, right? But the, the founders just need to know that, hey, you can shorten your URL. I've shortened mine. I have multiple accounts. One of them is just old trim, you know, forward slash Charles, <laughs> right? Old trim forward slash Osong, old trim forward slash Charlie. So if I wanna send a link, I know which one I'm sending. And, and that helps as far as we are concerned, but we have businesses out there that are gonna use it for other reasons, which is great, brings us an advantage, but as a founder, you don't need to know all those things. It doesn't matter. Like, like Madi always says, how would you like to, you, like owner of Walmart, he doesn't use everything in Walmart, but he gets money from everything that is purchased in Walmart, right? So same thing here as founders, we're not gonna use everything, but everything that the customers out there use, we are gonna benefit from. And that is great as far as I'm concerned. So. One of the things that oh, tr Trim is gonna give us is the ability to share with people how to use these products. And there'll be a number of products that are free to the public to use anytime they want to. So O Trim is one of those where they can use O Trim to do the generic shortening of one of their uh, long URLs to make it a shorter one. But that's where their benefit stops. If they want to use the full benefits of O Trim, they've got to become a member. So this will drive people to be a member by using this and making it. When they get to be a member, of course, they're going to be able to use the custom URL, put a special name into the um URL that's memorable, easy to understand, easy to repeat. And if it's in your memory, you'll use it more often or you'll be able to uh, track it. I used this the other day for somebody and I, I said, which would you rather click on? Because I was trying to share about Otrim and I gave them the whole long URL for my product link. And then I said, or you could use this one. And I used the generic shortener. And it was only this long, but it was still gobbledygook. Didn't spell a word. And then I did a third one and I said, okay, it's trim URL dot co slash for gym. And I, and I said, which of these three would you open if you were just looking at these? So I was trying to make a point to the person if you can put a marketing message within the URL itself, then you're gonna have a chance of more open rates and directly open rates transfers to sales. So you can increase your open rates 20%, 30% with a trim URL, why not use it? Because every time you get eyes on something, you increase your sales. Um, there's nothing like having a competitive advantage, and this is one of them. Thank you, Dr. Bill. That's great. You brought up a really good point. Marina? I actually wanted to do, um, Dr. Bill actually brought it up already um, about the tracking, because um, just in the back office, we've got the very um, low key version, I would say, of O Trim, which is Trim URL. And that's pretty awesome, you know, because like, once again, it shortens the URL that you're using and it tracks. So you can see where, the, you know, your eyes are coming from, which country, what location. So I really, I think, uh, you know, we, that's the lovely part is, you know, when you listen to the intensity of and the, the, just the magnitude of these products and what all they can um, deliver. The lovely part is that we don't have to understand it as being a founder. 
but know that there are customers that use and pay huge amounts of money every month to use these products separately, you know. Um, so that's really, really awesome. Thanks. Thank you, Marina. And I love the fact that Dr. Bill has brought it up. You actually can mark, can market your business, build your own brand on that URL. And it's actually, it create more chances of uh, people clicking on it. So that's, that's really beautiful. Milo? Absolutely. I mean, I love the part that, you know, you can take that end part and you can create marketing campaigns right in that. Send the same message, but with a different marketing campaign and you can track them. Jeffrey? Yeah, I just wanted to add right along with, with Dr. Bill that it, it really is uh, such an easy thing to do to get more eyeballs on your uh, particular message, whatever it is, because you know the, the, the videos that I put out, every video that I put out, I put out a unique prim URL to it. You know, um, like the last one, the how and why, it's primurl.forward slash co dot how and why. And I, and I can track how many hits and where they're from specific to that video from that one link. And I, I've done it. I, I got a, probably 150 links back there that whatever I want to track a certain message to see where they're coming from. So Dr. Bill is absolutely right. I, I love it. And the fact that Say, for instance, if I'm talking about global shift and I've got a trim URL with global shift, I'm going to open that a lot quicker than I'm going to open something that has a whole lot of ASCII characters or wild cards that's five feet long. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and by and the way, to do with trust, you know, trust is a lot. Yeah. And if you don't have the trust in what's you in front of you, I'm not going to open something I don't understand. Right. Well, and, and along that lines, and, and we've kind of talked a little bit about this, but I'll, I'll put I'll put the terminology out there because I use it a lot. These the things that we have with on passive and on tracker and on trim and on blessing certainly no uh, in no way not included because they all are. But it's what we call you know for those people that like the little black box theory, and that simply is you don't care why it works or how it works as long as it works. And we work, these things work, and they work together, and they are seamless and flawless, and they are integrated in such that it's all done with AI and automated. So one is going to work with the other, and it's all in one spot. So you're not going to get any better. This is as good as it gets. Absolutely. And, you know, man, time's really flying. It's almost our hours almost up. So we got just about 14 more minutes. So uh, I'd like to send it over to, uh, thank you, Jeff. That was a great job on Old Trim and Old Tracker and Old Bless. And now let's go to Academy. Uh, so Marina, uh, give us your spin on Academy. I absolutely, from, just from my understanding with Academy, it is a game changer. Um, it not only, well, Jeffrey just mentioned it again, but the fact that it is uh, products integrated with um, AI, all our products are built from the ground up or perfected, whatever's out there. Um, Academy is an e-learning platform. And I remember Ash Mufara saying around when I joined anyway, back in September 2019, he said, even the governments are going to be using our products. And I was thinking, what could it be? What could it be? You know, and as these products are getting um you know, we're seeing the preview and we're getting the demonstration of them. O-Tracker um, is definitely one of them. And O-Academy, I believe, will definitely be one of them as well, where the education departments are just going to have no choice but to go there, especially with the way things are going now, the new norm with um, coming through this um, coronavirus, I'm sorry, the um, COVID-19 pandemic. Now, um, O-Academy connects students globally online, which means that, you know, you're not limited, um, especially in these th third world countries um, where we are really, the education is shocking. It's really <laughs> not much to be desired. But um, with Academy, we are going to be able to get education to these little villages, to people in remote areas, and they will be able to get the best education online. 
over and above that, the instructors that will be giving these courses online. Now, the, um, it all depends on who the instructor is and what course you do and what they qualify to give out as far as certificates and diplomas and things go. But surely, if they are um, qualified and allowed to, you will definitely get your certificate and diplomas from them. But it also then helps instructors to up their game because they're going to be um, seeing what else is available on there. What's lovely is that on Passive has done, is a, given you a checklist. So if you're not too sure how, if you're new to it or you've never really taken your training online as such, it will give you a checklist where you will be able to tick off, make sure that your course is marketable and it looks good and people are going to um, you know, sign up for it. And then the students that have already done courses you will also be able to recommend whether this, you know, sort of, a, I think it will be a five a, out of a five star rating. I'm not sure, but there will be a rating where you can recommend, you know, what, to the, what the course was like. And if you would recommend it to other people and uh, oh, it's just incredible. One of the lovely features that I loved about that when Ash told us about it first was that it has special distraction. So as a tutor, you can, it will notify you to say, hey, <laughs> Marina's nodded off during your class, you know, or she's been, been staring out the window for the last 20 minutes or whatever the case is. Um, and also privacy is such a huge part of everything that we're doing. So Academy is definitely going to be a game changer. And what I also love about it is that um, with Academy, I think a lot of the people, um, a lot of the founders that have come in and when they saw Academy and what it can do, it's like, hold on, I've been doing this cooking class or I've been doing yoga with a few of my church friends or whatever the case is, I could actually take that online and have a separate stream of income. And, um, you know, there's just certain things where it gets you to think out of the box because there's going to be so many people in on passive. You know, Mike Ellis always talks about the volumes, the volumes, and I keep reminding myself of the volumes that's coming in. So I think you'll, be, you'll find that there's going to be a lot more diversity. You'll be able to find courses at such affordable pricing. And um, I remember Ashton said, you'll be able to get um, trained by a real astronaut. Like, how cool is that? And because I know Ash Mufara loves anything to do with space and NASA, and he's got his contacts there as well. So I'm sure he's already got someone in line for that. But um, that is something that I would have loved my son, for example, to, to study, not necessarily become an astronaut, but just to get into it. And this could be an extra course that you would do, you know, whatever it is. Um, you'll have the best of the best online and from anywhere in the world. So I'm very excited about Academy and getting it into the education department. Um, I, I think it's going to be, they're going to come to us, definitely. And I think there are already quite a few that's on the list <laughs> that are ready to sign up or probably have already, I'm not even sure. So yeah, Academy is definitely one right up there, right up there. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you, Marina. I see Dr. Bill has his hand raised. Yeah, Academy is something that's quite dear to my heart because I've been a teacher instructor for 35 or more years, giving courses to people online much of that time before online existed, I was giving courses with uh, slide carousels, Kodak carousels, dragging a trunk through the airport to go to a hotel. And then along came go to meeting and go, go to meeting turned into Zoom. And then um, we got to using things like Infusionsoft and uh, Kajabi. All these things will be replaced by Academy. And they're going to be much better in Academy. When I was putting these things together, I had to spend thousands of dollars to get trained, to buy the software, to upload and get training from the manufacturer. And it was a prohibitive thing. And most people could not get into that and put their courses online because of the cost factor. The ongoing cost to run courses like we're talking about being able to do with Academy or $5,000 a year or more in overhead cost. And so with Academy, we're gonna be able to do the entire thing simply put together with um, 
intuitive types of uh, processes where all we have to do is upload our videos and pretty much go. We'll have marketing to sell our courses built into Academy. We'll have lots of things that no other company has. It's a real bonanza for teachers. Now, if you get on the other side of the coin and talk about the instruction to students, they'll, they'll never have anything that's better because they'll have choices. They'll be able to search for the courses they want and they'll be, they'll be able to test them for free. They'll be able to take a class and not pay for it until they get to a certain point. So they can test drive them. If they don't like it, they can get their money back. So there's a lot of benefits built into Academy that you won't find anywhere else. Absolutely. Okay. Bill I, I can add something to that. Um, yeah, I think Marina, Dr. Bill, they have touched on most of some of the good features. We have the multilingual abilities, of course, so that because of that, there are no boundaries, right? So you can be a student anywhere in the world, you can be an instructor anywhere in the world, mm -hmm. you still get the education, right? But yes, yes, the, the other thing I want to add to that from a different perspective. Now you're using one of the biggest educational platform out there now, I don't want to call it platform, but Udemy, a lot of people use Udemy, right? For education, this day and age, but if you were to be an instructor at Udemy, some student has to use some service like Dr. B mentioned GoToMeeting or maybe Zoom nowadays to connect and, and get the instruction. So yes, where OnPassive brings another dimension to this whole thing, right? O Connect. Now imagine Academy working seamlessly with O Connect. Okay. That is where it's a game changer, big time. Okay, and that's why we say integration. So usually when I do my webinars and I tell people, yes, we have a single sign on, but the key is that integration. That it has never been done. And that's where we just stand above everybody else. That's all. Wow, that's, uh, that's so true. And you know, uh, the thing with Old Academy, I look at, of course I'm into music, but I look at a musician. And if you think about a musician, and especially if he's an older musician that's maybe played with someone big and he goes and puts his course online, do you think he's going to get more lessons than a guy that's just started? I mean, it's going to explode for him because it's worldwide, you know, and it's going to be so big. Academy is going to be so big when we look at, uh, you know, how many people actually use it and more people use it across the pond than use it here in the U.S. You know, we're not even in the top 10. So I know we're running out of time, but... Jeffrey, give us your couple minutes or whatever on it, and uh, then we'll close it down. I, I love what Charles was saying. I mean, obviously, everybody um, got a good understanding. I, I love, I absolutely love the idea, too. Uh, I think uh, Dr. Bill had mentioned earlier that uh, we can have a, a list. You know, students can look for things. It's going to actually give you an assortment of top-rated business courses, technical courses, things. I mean, you're going to be able to search uh, and you can get pretty specific, right? So that uh, whatever it is that suits your fancy. And these classes, these courses, they're everything from stay-at-home moms with hobbies all the way up to university, you know, doctorate levels uh, courses. And uh, it's my understanding that sooner or later, you're going to end up getting or have the, the facility to get, you know, full-fledged degrees and things. I know that um, Mr. Bufar is working with the Indian people now for uh, getting something to get a doctorate online in India, and that's going to be part of it. Uh, I've got a sister who's got a master's. She's a teacher, uh, terribly underpaid in my opinion. But when you have people that want to do, whether it's, whether it's hobbies, whether it's yoga, whether it's uh, music, whether it's university style, you know, whether it's, uh, I mean, all levels of academia, when you put these things up there and they are on that site, they're there in perpetuity i mean they're there forever and people can take them and they can buy them and they can use them and you are making money and that brings us back to what miss joe song was saying about the integration of it all because not only are you integrated with the uh the other 50 departments and i, I say 50 but it's maybe more or less i mean 
But you're looking at Academy with O'Connect. So now you've got the webinar and the conferencing and you've got the wallet and that's all connected in there too, the old wallet. So now you've got people being able to pay and get paid through that system. Everything that we've got is so fully integrated under one roof that you're absolutely right. We don't have to go anywhere to get anything else because everything you need for an online presence is basically right here under that roof. I mean, it's pure. Now, as far as Academy or Academy is, I mean, its vision is actually to make the world's most extensive educational repository. And it does that by engaging uh, uh, students and teachers and empowering uh, educators. That's, you know, what uh, Dr. Bill was alluding to earlier, whereas there's a lot of people that have done things the hard way and we're just gonna make it a whole lot easier and it's gonna be accessible worldwide. And Mr. Osong was even saying, you know, that these people, uh, not only are they going to be in different countries, but they're going to be able to to do the courses in their in their language and whatever their their local culture, or local language, and dialect is. And that is a huge, huge thing because that'll be happening in real time. I mean, you can do all sorts of things. I mean, you know, there's uh, subject category filtration and there's uh, uploading of, of videos. And you can do video speed adjustments, updating multilingual. Uh, quality content there's just so much in that whole academy that that is just i mean it's a beautiful beautiful platform that is going to be used it doesn't matter whether you're teaching um you know coin collecting or whether you're a government worker sitting in an office i, I mean i keep thinking of what we used to call death by powerpoint with the military you know i mean it was atrocious what we had to, oh kill me now right this is going to make it so much better and on passive is just so far head and shoulders above everybody it's just it's amazing so i mean that, that's my two cents i love it i love it because i i think america's been dumbed down and i think it's about time we started decentralizing a lot of things and putting the power back in the people like ashton so good on them <laughs> Wow. On passive is such a beautiful thing. I mean, yeah. we are all in for a ride and a beautiful journey. And man, that hour went by fast. That went by really fast. I'd like to thank all of you for coming on to the show today and bless us with your presence, man. And with uh, what you know about the thing. I've learned a lot myself today. This has been very informative. And so, but unfortunately, we're out of time. So I'm going to send it back over to Julie and let her take us out of here. Absolutely. Thank you, Milo. Thank you so much, every leaders here. Your wisdom is shared on this platform and you're passionate about on passive. And that's what we need leaders like yourself out there. Thank you so much for your time, your wisdom being here with us. There you have it, everyone.